Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the New York Yankees and the Texas Rangers. The Rangers attempt to break out the brooms in this three game series right after this. Mike Miner starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, in this day and age where we're used to seeing a lot of home runs and pitchers not going very deep in a game, how about this guy? ERA in the low ones. That's not an easy thing to do. He can strike people out, but he can also get them out via the ground ball, the fly ball. Judging by his stats this year, he is having a ridiculously good season Brett up to this point. Gardner. At the plate, Brett Gardner. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. And, and he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Fellas, this Rangers ball club, as they begin play, they've been hot of late, winners in four straight. Yeah, okay. Matty V. Hey, d we we've got a team that's playing some pretty good baseball right now. Through the first five games of this homestand, four and one and looking for some bigger and better things. Yeah we had a chance to sit down before the game after BP with the manager. He was really pleased with the way his team has played in these last five. Let's see if it continues today. Hit hard on the ground a second. Oh and he can't pick it up cleanly. And that's out number one. Static second. The designated hitter. Miguel and Duhar. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. And he's just hoping for something to go his way in this one. And as you can see, it's not been the case of late. Here's the first pitch to him. And a changeup here misses off the corner to start him out. It's ball one. Our temperature, a very comfortable 72 degrees as we get things started. Bases are empty, one man out. And he fouls this one off. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hey. So let's take a peek at the officiating crew in this one. Behind the plate is Kenny Jansen. Hey, the book on Kenny Jansen, D Road, not a very big zone, but. He will give you that low pitch below the knees. Yeah, and he's consistent. You're okay with that as an offensive player. He wants to give that pitch below the knees. If this pitcher can execute consistently, you better make the adjustment. Here he comes again, one, two. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Batting third, the right fielder, Aaron Judd. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. It was a two hit effort for him including a home run in last night's game. First pitch on its way. Into the windup here comes the 0 and 1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Now one hit foul over to the right side as the count moves to one and two. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss for strike three. Pulled the string on him that time, and the inning is over. So the Yanks go one, two, three. It's the Yankees nothing. Rangers coming to bat on Major League Baseball, the show. Jay Happ is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Yanks. What's your take on him, Dan? 
Yeah, Matt, his last one wasn't very good, mainly because of control issues. Walked five batters in his last start, and he certainly can't do that in this one here, or he's going to come out of the short end of this one. Coming to the plate now, Elvis Andrews. He'll lead things off here in the Moving bottom half of the first. The Ranger, the shortstop, Elvis. Here it comes now to Andrews. Andrews. Yeah. In there for strike one, 0-1. Oh well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here, they come in in a bit of a rough patch. They've dropped four in a row. Yeah, Matty, this is the perfect guy to have on the mound. A veteran, not going to let the moment get too big for him, completely understands what's being asked of him. They've been losing lately. That can't be denied. But this is the perfect guy. Right guy, right spot. Hit out towards second. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Batting second, the center fielder. Nick. Solak. Digging in, Nick Solak. First pitch of the at bat on its way. No, Ball down. one as he lays off below the zone. And it's fouled away. Now the one and one pitch. Nope, that's off the plate. Ball two. Two and two. Your eyes light up from the offensive side playing in a hitter's park like this. Have to get the ball up to do some damage. I'm not mad at that take. One out, nobody on. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him that when the swing hurt. came through the zone. I have to think hitter. he was looking for something really? off speed, and he just Cal couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect, Willie hey. Calhoun. As he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's nope. a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. And this is taken for a called strike, and he's not in love with that call either. It's one and two now. Fouled away. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Rangers set down in order. Still no score. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. And he has not gotten off to the start he had hoped for with the bat. It's been a real struggle for him out of the gate. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Today's contest is, of course, the finale of the series, and the home side has dominated so far. They've got the opportunity to complete the sweep with a win in this one. You know, and it's not an easy thing to complete a sweep, particularly in this day and age where the games and the teams are so competitive. So a sweep at home would be extra special. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Giancarlo that Stanton goes down to the become the first out here Labor. in the second inning. Torres. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. In his career against Mike Miner, he's 0 for 5. He's ready. Here's the first offering. In there at the letters 0 and 1. 
That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Hey, I admit I'm a little biased. There's nothing better than that pop of a glove on a good fastball. Looking forward to hearing a lot more of that pop the rest of this one. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove, and he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. Yankee oh, shortstop behind in the count one and two. Hey, that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. Hit well towards the hole. Oh, what a dive. Touche, sir. Oh, that's a tough play, but he pulled it off perfectly. Once he made the great stop, still had to make a good feed to the pitcher covering, which isn't easy on routine grounders sometimes. Hard not to appreciate that one. Digging in now for the Yankees. D.J. LeMayhew, he'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. First delivery to him on the way. Down and in here, one ball, no strikes. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. In there, and it's even at one. Now the one and one pitch. Not likely to see a fourth fastball in this situation. I'm going to eliminate the fastball if I'm at the plate right here. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. I got to count two and two. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo. He's ready for his no first fielder. at bat of this early Joey. season contest. Gallo. The pitch. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Got it fit. The first baseman, Ronald Guzman. Stepping into the box, Ronald Guzman. And he'll put his nine game hitting streak on the line in this one. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Hey, if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy, got to believe that pitch is coming again right here. There's a fastball pretty close that time, but ruled a ball one and one. A two and one count to the Rangers' first baseman. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Todd Frazier is on deck. Bottom of the second here with no score. A high fastball is in there. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. The 3 2 pitch. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Batting fifth, the third baseman, Todd. Here's Todd Frazier. Frazier now. He's hitting 333 in the series, two for six.
He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Here's the 0 1 pitch. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Really good late bite on that slider Batter, right Batter. there. The best the ones have that late action Robert that says. just darts at the last Here minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. In now, Robinson Chirinos. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. Into the slide, and he comes up with a great catch to end the inning. A fine sliding catch here will take us to break. Two complete, still scoreless here on the show. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. And now a pitch on the way. Turned on down the line. That's a hit, the first of the game for the Yankees. He'll get it into second, but it won't be in time, and it's a leadoff double. The fans didn't even get a chance to settle in their seats for the beginning of the inning, and he just blistered that ball down the line on the first pitch he saw. It stayed fair, and he's safely on second with the leadoff double. That's the way you lead off an inning. To the plate now, Luke Voigt. As he'll take a look at ball one. And here's a fastball that's nowhere near the zone. It's 2 0 now. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher. Just go ahead and challenge him. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Urshela leads off second with nobody out. Again, another foul ball. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. Working for the punch out and the offering. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Finally, up to this point, the entire lineup have been swinging at anything close. And this guy decides to show a little more patience at the dish and is rewarded with the base on balls. That was a good at bat. So coming to the plate, Kyle Higashioka. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. First and second here with nobody out. And boy, this at bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0 2 now. In a big spot like this, you have to be looking for something you can handle. 
That pitch bunched him up completely. So I think he's trying to do a little bit too much right now. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate. And he'll have another shot at it here. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already. And there's your first out. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there. Yeah, the straight it. changeup. The he hadn't people. used it yet in this at right. bat. And what does he do? Garden. He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. Here's Brett Gardner now. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Oh, yeah. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. set and the 0-1. One. Oh, one and one. Gardner is a very well-regarded defensive outfielder. It used to be that fielders were evaluated mostly by the eyeball test and simple stats like fielding percentage, but of course these days there are many more advanced oh, ways that help determine a guy's work in the field, and in his case he shines in many ways. You know, Matty, for me, I think he does pass the eyeball test. I know you have to look at all the numbers and the analytics to really appreciate a ball player like this, but man, does he come to work every day and play hard. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. He swings and misses. Throw down. And an offline throw, but he gets the tag down, and he is out at third. Two and two. Here it is. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. We play two and a half. No score on the show. So here's the left-handed bat of Rugner Dodor. He went deep in the contest last night. Oh, First offering on its way. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. All one. And it's one and two. High fastball right there with a two strike count. You know what that might be doing? Setting up the next pitch could be that hard slider down and away. Something breaking down and away off the plate. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already and there's your first out. Batting Boy, that's done. the best pitch in baseball the right, right there with two strikes. Hunter. That elevated fastball. Go. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that. But most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. At the plate, Hunter Cole. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. And oh, looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. Late swing there on the changeup. Couldn't make up his mind, I guess. It's strike two. Didn't miss by much there, but it's just a bit high. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Here's a high pop-up. Higashioka has a play, and that's the second out of the inning. Now batting, shortstop, Elvis Andrew. So striding in, Elvis Andrews. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First delivery to him on the way. Well, that so far this season, Andres brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. Rangers still searching for hit number one in the ballgame. 
Change up low, 2 and 0. Oh. Two balls and a strike to the Rangers leadoff hitter. At strike two on a well-placed changeup around the knees. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball on the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well-thrown changeup. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Andrus will take the turn and head for second here. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. Now yeah, this one was starting to look like it was going to be one of those one, two, three easy innings. But now all of a sudden, they have the go-ahead run standing out there at second base after the two-out double. Big moment here. Digging in, Nick Solak. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. He's set and the pitch. Hey. That elevated fastball right there. That is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. Nope. And low, it's a ball and a strike. Oh. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. That's and that ball. misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. Three and one, here it is. You know he wants to end this inning right here on three and two, but I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with a base open to work with. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. A bouncer up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. The throw to the plate. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Boy, when teams are playing well like this team is on a nice little winning streak right here. They strike early in this one to keep the mojo working. Yeah, Dan, from an offensive standpoint, everyone searches for confidence, and that's exactly what they have right now. Everyone contributing makes for a fun clubhouse. So now to the plate, Willie Calhoun, as he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Trying to keep things going now with the runner at first following the RBI single. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Ball and two strikes. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. The sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh, my goodness. More matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon following this. Standing in, Miguel Andujar comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Miguel. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he lays off there 1 and 0. Right side. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. 
Now that so with that, let's call right on the guys in the graphics area. department to put up the pitch Go. speed comparison for the two starters. Both guys topping out at 95 miles an hour. Here's big Aaron Judge. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here comes the first pitch. That's the fastball here is he'll take a look at ball 1. 1-0. One oh. And that pitch misses in the dirt and it's 2-0 and oh now. You never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat, starting right now. Swung on, missed, two and one. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your ace swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. And just never could commit to the swing there, but he went around, and it's even now at two and two. Into the corner and slicing foul. Full count. Three and two. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Three, two pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. hit hard on the ground is short and Andrus will not be able to get there it's a base hit hey d -Row, are now you aware of this after that hit. knock right there that's Got an 11 hard. game hitting streak you think he knows it's at 11 I think he knows exactly that it's at 11 it starts off innocent you just want to get a few knocks to get the hitting coach off your back next thing you know you wake up you've been sleeping easy for almost a week eight days now we're on 11 this guy's dinner tastes different. Giancarlo Stanton now. As the first pitch to him is swung on and oh, missed for strike one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. He's set. Here's the 0-1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1-1. One and one. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Now batting. Yeah, I think he was the sitting on the fastball. So he got the change up. He was Four. way out in front of it, but he kept his hands back long enough to keep it fair down the line. That's not always easy to do. Standing in now, Torres. As he can't catch up on a fastball at the letters, and it's strike one. Torres, a Venezuelan-born ball player. He's in his third season as a major league player. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. This is where, as a batter, you got to find a way to put something in the outfield, get something elevated. I know you got to battle with two strikes and protect, but if anything is belt or above, you got to swing. Lays off that time, and it's 1-2. and two. Great arm action on that two-strike changeup right there, but even better job at the plate to take that one. The one-two. In the dirt and blocked behind the plate. Yeah, and a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. At the letters, but called high, it's a ball. 
Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. The 3-2 pitch. Liner towards second. But this is going to be hauled in out there at second base for out number two. Now batter, second baseman, D.J. LeMahieu. So stepping in, D.J. LeMahieu, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. From the stretch, here's the pitch. No runs, three hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Hit out towards second. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And to score from third, the tying run. Wow, I think now he back. took it for granted Perfect. there a bit. Probably thought he no. had it in the bag, Perfect. and he just lost concentration for a minute. Now his pitcher has to pick him up with two outs. Riding into the box, Gio Urshela, one for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. And a high strike there. It's one and one. They love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team, not afraid to execute. Runners at the corners, two men out. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Two and one, here it is. Two balls and two strikes now. Two two is a changeup that misses three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this AB hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Good swing just a little early, and he'll see another payoff pitch. The payoff pitch. And he misses with it for ball four, so the bases will be loaded now with two away. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. Stepping in, Luke Voigt. He drew a walk his first time up. Looking to minimize the damage here. Ball, that's him. Some movement now in that Texas bullpen as a left-hander starts to get cranking down there. Coming up now on 30 pitches in the inning. And that's inside and a bit low anyways. It's 2-0. Nowhere to put anybody. 2-0 count. Not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. The set. And the 2-0. Pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. It's a grand slam. So he promptly unloads the bases with that one. Sixth home run on the season for him, and it's suddenly a 5-1 ball game. 
Grand Slam's got to fire you up right here. Not only just an unbelievable at bat, but four stakes to boot to give your team the lead. Couldn't be more fired up. Tapping in now, Kyle Higashioka. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Here comes the 1 0. Ball two. 2 0. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first AB, he went down on strikes. Grounded back up the middle. Andrus has it. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. Man, now there's back. just no excuse for a middle infielder to right. make a play like that, especially your shortstop. Looked like a routine play, but for some reason, he just pulled the first baseman off the bag. It happens, but you never want to give a team extra outs. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Brett Gardner. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Hey, as a former infielder, nothing hurts your heart more than making errors behind your pitchers. Let's see if this guy can pick him up right here. The 0-1 delivery. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. You know that nasty changeup's lurking right here. If I'm in the batter's box, I have to tell myself to stay back. I have to take pull side out of the equation, or that changeup's going to beat me. Oh, and two, here it is. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So they put up a big number in the inning as five crossed the plate. And this was the biggie here, the Grand Slam home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's 5-1 Yanks. Here's Joey Gallo now. He's 0 for 1 after grounding go. out in his Ranger. only trip to the plate so the far. Fielder. Lots of baseball Joey. left in this one as we're still Gallo. early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. Hey. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Gallo. A Nevada native. This is his sixth season for him in the big leagues. Fouled off. And he fouls this one off. Another one sent foul. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. And he misses there. One and two. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Wow, that's the case right there where a pitcher knows now, this guy's up there and he's in swing mode. Bravo. That pitch wasn't even close Good to the ball. strike zone, and he still swung at it. Into the box, Ronald Guzman, as he would look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. That batting average up in the stratosphere here to begin play. Ten home runs and 21 driven in. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. This is hit the other way out toward left field. 
Under it now is Stanton to make the catch, and there are two away now. Now batting, third baseman, Todd Ranger. Into the box, Todd Frazier. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. 5-1 our score as we play the fourth here. Fastball well outside. High ball. and wide, two balls and a strike. And two and Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. All even at two and two. Here it is. Pitch Where's taken ball? several two inches strikes. below the zone, in fact. Robinson Chirinos would be next. One run, two hits, and two errors for the Rangers to this point. Popped him up. Urshela has room in foul territory, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Rangers. They're down here five to one. Your Colby Allard, please. a six foot one now inch southpaw, will be the one that gets the call from the Number bullpen 42. here. Colby Allard. Here's Miguel Andujar now. He'll start Maybe things out as we begin the fifth. The designated hitter, Miguel Andujar. Here comes the first pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Inside ball one. Allard, once an Atlanta Brave, he was acquired via trade last year. Yeah, this guy's fully settled in with this ball club right now. Knows what the manager and coaching staff expect from him. Is not taken aback by anything. He's been through the spring training process and gotten to know everybody in this organization top to bottom. The count now at 2 and 1. Hard hit ball to second. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Man, you can't continue to now make that, mistakes like right this and it. expect to win. Aaron. That's three errors so far on this one, and they keep putting themselves in bad situations. Digging in once again, Aaron Judge. He was a strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. From the stretch. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. It's a 5 1 game here in inning number 5. Way inside with that one. A pretty easy take there. And it's a ball and two That's strikes now to Aaron Judge. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter, and it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. Blake now, Giancarlo oh, Stanton. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Now the 1-0. Nope, at the ball. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Here he comes on 2-0.
Runner at first here, one man out. All even now, two and two. Hot shot down the line. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. From the stretch. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Well, a 3-2 count and a guy that handles the bat up at the plate. This is a great time to put that runner on first in motion. Good battle. Count remains full. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches, but not this time. I think that was actually a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. To the plate now, Torres. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. No hits to this point. The 0 1 on its way. Outside part of the plate, the changeup is in there. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. Swing and a miss as he chases one out of the zone for the third strike, and that's the third out of the inning. One left for the Yankees. They're up 5-1. to one. Welcome back to Arlington. Before we get much further, let's check in with Heidi. Matt, I talked with the Rangers manager during the inning break about the team's offensive production to this point. And he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. They're struggling to drive the baseball into the gaps right now as only one of their hits has been for extra bases. That makes it pretty tough to generate runs, but he said it's up to everyone in the lineup to make the necessary adjustments. It hasn't gone their way to this point, but that shouldn't mean they can't put together some great swings the rest of the way. The Rangers. Okay, the thank Kevin. you, Heidi. Robin said. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. The 0 1 pitch. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Boy, not the way you'd like to draw up an 0-2 pitch, d roll but from now a hitter's back. perspective, a Second pretty good job play. of staying alive 0-2. Okay. Yeah, and he did an excellent oh, job on oh. the offensive side. Not to let the A-B get away from him. I know he was down 0-2, but he bowled his neck and he stayed in there. Here's Rognit Odor now. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. From the belt, the pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. Now the relay home, but this won't be in time as he's well safe and the run scores. When this thing left his bat, now I started bat thinking it might have field. enough to get out of here. Hunter. Didn't quite carry enough, Go. but it does one hop the wall off the track, and he cruises into second with an RBI two-bagger. You'll take that every day of the week.
In now, Hunter Cole as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. He popped out in his first trip. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Hits are now even at four apiece. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. Now the 2 1. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Here now the 2 2. I got three and two. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off a hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. Here comes the payoff pitch. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. As the pitching coach heads out Hell to the mound, it. I think this good is probably job. just a case of Hell giving it. your guy a chance to catch and his breath, Bruce. pump him up a little bit, let him know that he's got it under control. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Elvis Andrus. Here it comes now to Andrus. First pitch here is a slider, but that's taken up and away for a ball. It's 1-0. and None out, runners at first and second. Swung on and missed. 1-1. One and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. All two. His pitch count is getting up there in the oh, inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Now the 2 1 pitch is looked at for ball three. Three and one here, you have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. Three and two. Three, two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. There's one. To Voight in time for the double play. Oh, now that double it. play gave Another him a really it. good chance to minimize the damage here. One run has come across, but now he just has to work to strand that runner at third. Would be pretty huge if he can do that. Ready for another shot now. Nick Solak singled home a run in his last time up. From the stretch. Aye. Oh, and one. The 0 1 pitch is taken high above the zone. Two outs here with a runner at third. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Gardner is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. A run for the Rangers thanks to the RBI double. Five innings complete. It's now 5 to 2. So digging in now, DJ LeMayhew has got an RBI despite an 0 for 2 effort to this point. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. 
High fly ball out to straightaway center. Solak's got it, and there's one gone. Now batting, third baseman, Gio Urshela. So striding forward now, Gio Urshela. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Way behind that pitch, it's 0 and 1. Now the Rangers get a reliever up and throwing in the bullpen as a right hander's begun to warm up out there. 5 2 is our score here in inning number six. Here's a cutter that's off the plate, 1 and 1. Here it comes. Aye. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Now the payoff pitch home. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Payoff pitch one more time. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And it's fouled away. The next 3 2. Donnie finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. So now to the plate, Luke Voigt. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. And if you remember, I'm sure he does, he hit a round tripper back in the fourth. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. 1 and 1. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Now here it comes. High and deep down the left field line. And no one will get this one. Two out, nobody on. And right into the shift. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Chalk up another multi-hit game for this guy. He is absolutely on fire. He's been on a nice hot streak as of late, and I don't see it ending anytime soon. At the plate, Kyle Higashioka. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Fouled away. One and two to the Yankees catcher. Off 
off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Hey, expect a challenge right here. Does not want to run the count full. Two out with the man at first. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked to count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. Now the payoff pitch home. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Part of the order, three, four, and five coming up. It's the Yankees five and the Rangers two. Bottom of the inning now. Striding forward go. now the is the Ranger. DH. Willie the Calhoun. Hitter. He got on top of one Willie. and was a ground out victim Calhoun. last time. First pitch coming. Here it is. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Hey. Oh, and two. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. You know, D-Roll, the old school thinking sometimes is when you're going through a bad now streak back. like this Let's guy, any way you can get on a jam shot, even though it yeah, wasn't well. pretty, maybe this could get this guy finally going. Yeah, I can't tell you how good that had to feel right there. There's moments where you slap that donut off your bat, you don't even want to walk to home plate. You're scuffling so bad. Into the box, Joey Gallo. Hey. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Ready with the 0-1. Ripped on the ground to first. Torres at the bag. Oh, but the feed to the pitcher is offline. And the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. Up next. The runner at second. One away. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Ronald Guzman. Guzman. First offering on its way. Hits are even right now at five aside. Outside one for a ball, one and one. A ball and two strikes now. One and two. Little too much bite on the slider that time, taken outside. Fouled off. The 2 2 one more time is put in play to the right side of the infield, scooped up. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Now batting, third baseman, Todd Frazier. So next to the plate for Texas, Todd Frazier, runner in scoring position with Sugan. First delivery to him on the way. One oh. Men on third with two down. And a fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's two and oh. Well, both of those balls have been inside, so if I'm hitting, I'm looking for something I can get my arms extended on. Probably won't come back inside for a third time. The 2 0 on the way is swung on and missed. Strike yeah, one. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches, anything on the outer half of the plate is going to look a foot outside. Frazier in front, three balls and a strike. Two 
two outs here with a runner at third. Here's a bouncing ball headed to LeMahieu at second. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. We see the speedy Brett Gardner start things out when we come back. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Yankees five and the Rangers two. New inning set to get underway. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Gardner. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Lifted down the line in left. Left fielder is on the move. He can't get there in time. And now it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. Hey, this is what every hitting coach teaches when you start playing baseball. Don't try to do more than you can. Hit the ball where it's pitched. And he does a great job right there as he pushes it down the line nicely. And it bounces over for a ground rule double. At the plate now, Miguel Andujar, as it's grounded sharply to first. And he'll take this to the bag himself for the first out, but it's a productive one as the runner moves up to third. Now batting, right fielder, Aaron Judd. One gone here in the Yankee seventh, and that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, big Aaron Judge. Here comes the first pitch. Count 1-0. 5-2 our score as we play inning number seven. Ah. And this one's on the inside corner, one and one. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. The 1-1. One, one. Smoke toward the hole. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Well, that makes it a four-run deficit, so you might have to start wondering if this is too much for them to come back. They've only been able to scratch across two runs the entire game so far, so coming up with four more in this one might be too tall of an order. Standing in now, Giancarlo Stanton. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. And he fouls this one off. A pause, and the 0-2. Still no balls and two strikes. Now another 0 2. Fastball well outside. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, now we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these Labor. days. What makes it so effective? Torres. I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. And now a curveball as he's got to lean out of the way. That one nearly got him. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. This is foul right side. And 
That's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Takes this the other way to right. But he will run this one down in right center. A tough L9, and the Ladies inning is gentlemen. over. A run on two hits the for the Yankees. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. The Yankees lead it 6-2. to two. Digging in and looking for more, Robinson Chirinos. He singled in two trips the to the plate it. thus far. Robert it doesn't look very promising Chirino. so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. A nope. ball and no strikes. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. The 1 0 home. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Therefore, it is Stanton, and he's got it for the first out. Now batting, the second baseman, Rubin. Oh, door. Digging in now, Rubin Odor. First delivery to him on the way. And a ball 1-0. and oh. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that for a strike right there. That was borderline up even though it was in the zone. In the air down the line and left. That one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. Now Just a great approach at the, the right plate field. right there. Takes Hunter. that pitch on the outer half and goes Whoa. with it. He clearly hit it well because it bounced right over the wall for a ground rule double. Stepping in now, Hunter Cole. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. We're moving along into the later innings, and this guy's throwing over 60% of his first pitches for strikes. He'd like to do a little bit more, but so far, so good. I'm set with the 0-1. Pitch sharply, but foul down the right side. Runner at second here with one man out. And another foul ball. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Hit hard down the line. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Tried to work it back to that low inside corner, but it misses 1-2. and two. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at-bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. The one two back up the middle and in for a base hit and a relay to the plate and he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Hey Deaver I think we got a case right now this team they're just now feasting on a pitcher that he's given up some Elbert. runs and it looks like he's starting to get Elbert. a little bit tired leaving some of these pitches up in the zone. Yeah and I think there's a fight at the bat rack right now guys are licking their chops knowing he's a little bit tired going to leave stuff over the middle of the plate won't be surprised to see the bullpen get going. Here comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound and that will bring an end to the appearance by Jay Happ. So he'll head for the showers as he stands to win this one if the bullpen can find a way to protect his three run lead. Ladies Jonathan Holder enters right, to make an appearance please. on the mound as he now inherits a runner at first with game. one out in the inning. Number 42, Jonathan Holder.
Here's Elvis Andrus now. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. A little quick on that swing and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. Here it comes now to Andrus. Grounded to short, this could be two. LeMayhew for one. On the first, and talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. It's a run on two hits here for Texas. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Yankees six and the Rangers three. Start of the eighth on its way, but first Heidi Watney standing by with this report. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He told me it feels like every ball they've put in play has been a laser. And the numbers back that up. Six of their hits have come off the bat at 90 miles an hour or harder, guys. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Luis Garcia has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. And that sends D.J. LeMayhew into the box. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Oh, and that one slung through the strike zone that time at 98. 0 and 1. The Rangers entered the day looking to wrap up a big series sweep, but it's going to take some late game heroics in order to make that a reality. Never easy to sweep any team, but this is a close one, and there's an old saying in baseball, a bloop and a blast, and if they can stay close, get a base hit, get somebody to hit one out of the ballpark, they're not out of this one yet. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open now up any number eight. The third baseman, Gio... Urshela. Stepping up now, Gio Urshela. One for two in the ballgame thus far. First pitch coming, here it is. Whoa, that's down. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. And for the opposition, wrapping this up and salvaging a win would at least make their trip out of here a little more pleasant. This could be just what the doctor ordered. Nobody likes to get swept on the road, so winning this one could be big for building back team morale. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. Three of those pitches were definitely out of the zone, but that last now pitch bad. looked pretty no, darn good to me. You're not Please. usually going to get many Four. favorable calls on 3-0, and oh, though. You have to earn that spot. Look, Voigt will stand in yet again, and if you weren't with us earlier, let's take another look. This was back in the fourth inning with the bases loaded. A grand slam and definitely the big blow of the ball game so far. From the belt, the pitch down the left field line and deep. But this will land untouched. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. As a hitter, you see a pitcher working east-west. This is where you got to tell yourself to stay tall. You can't cover 
both sides of the plate. You got to pick one and trust it. The 0 2 pitch struck him out. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead and account 0 2 and then start working now outside the zone. Catch. Easier said Kyle. than done, but that's Did the way you, you do it. So now to the plate, Kyle Higashioka, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 0 1 pitch. Yep, that ball went out. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Made him look silly with that one. Hits are even at seven apiece. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. The Yanks leave one as they're unable to add to their six to three lead. Aroldis Chapman is on to pitch out of the bullpen in yours. the bottom half of the Number eighth. Number 42, Aroldis Chapman. Leading off the inning, Nick Solak. And they'll Leading need him to get something Rangers, going here. The center fielder, Nick Solak. He's set. Here it comes. Aye. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. The 0 1. Now a swing and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here. Down 0 and 2. Boy, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Woo! Up and in. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. It looked like the fastball got away from him there. He started this guy backwards, couple of off-speed pitches early, followed by back-to-back -back heaters. He can go either way he wants to go right now. And it's three balls and two strikes to the Rangers center fielder. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a 3-2 count. With the three-run lead, no one on base, this is the perfect situation to do it. No reason to nibble and possibly set up a big inning. Judge moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Now batting the designated hitter, Willie Calhoun. To the plate now for Texas is the DH, Willie Calhoun. Last time through was a base hit. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. and oh. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. I don't mind him trying to pitch him backwards right there with those two early count sliders. But now he finds himself in a situation where he's going to have to come fastball. Now the 2-0. Too oh, high. And it's 3-0. and oh. Chapman. Nicknamed the missile for obvious reasons. He's in year one of a new three-year deal. Three balls and a strike to Willie Calhoun. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a slider, but this misses down and in for ball four. Now batting, left fielder, 
Joey. So a runner at first now Gallo. with one away. And up to bat next, the left-handed light tower power of Joey Gallo. He's set and the pitch. Nope. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Runners on first with one down. Swing and a miss on the sinker, a ball and a strike. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. A 1-1. One, one. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Good bike to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front now and rip batter. it down the line, First but that man. wasn't a great pitch Ronald. to do it on. It's really not Good the best two-strike approach either. Into the box now, Ronald Guzman. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low, it's ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 1-0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. His heater's got some late ride through the zone. A lot of late swings right now. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. That's and it's two balls and two strikes now. I got to count two and two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two-seamer, and the inning is over. Rangers leave one. Can't cut into that 6-3 deficit. Your Nick attention, Goody please. enters from the pen to start the ninth the inning as he'll try to keep the score Number right where it is heading to the bottom Nick. of the ninth. Goody. Kicking off the top of the ninth, Brett Gardner as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half Brett of the inning. Gardner. From the stretch, here's the pitch. One of my favorite pitches in the game right there, the old Greg Maddox equalizer. Start it at the front hip and bring it back. Now the 0-1. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. And it's fouled away. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Now that next will be the designated hitter, Miguel, Miguel. Andujar, struggling so and far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. First pitch on its way. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. One out, nobody on. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. A ball and two strikes now. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul.
The one two. Still a ball and two strikes. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off. Maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Slapped hard the opposite way. Cole is there. Two down. Now batting. Right fielder. Aaron Judd. Stepping up to the plate, Aaron Judge. A couple of singles for him in four trips for him this afternoon. Here comes the first pitch. And he pours this one in at the letters, 0-1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Fouled away. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. The 1-2 is laid off for ball two. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They still lead it six to three. Tommy Kingley comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. The New York Yankees. Number 42, Tommy Kingley. Stepping into the box, Todd Frazier. He's hitless in three at-bats to this baseman. point. Hey, not no. impossible, but highly Frazier. improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, one. Hey. Everything this guy throws is hard. That changeup he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Now bad. Ready once again. Robinson Chirinos. Robinson. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. From the stretch. Hey. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Rip down the line. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Bases are empty, one man out. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Well, you have now to feel pretty confident Second about the way this one's going to end up okay. as a manager. Two hitters, two oh, strikeouts oh. from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Rugnet Odor. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Here comes the first pitch. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike, nothing in one. Jay Happ would be in line for the victory should the score hold.
And that's taken for strike two as now they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. Hey, back to back, same pitch, same spot. Don't be shocked if he goes right back out there. If I'm a hitter, that's where I'm sitting. Everyone would think he wants to go somewhere else. One he ball. might go right exactly to the same spot. To one and two now. Texas down to their final strike in this one. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Bases are empty here with two men out. A full count for Odor. Three balls and two strikes. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Pulled toward right center field. And he will make the catch with ease. And the Yankees have put an end to their four-game slide as this ball game is over. Hey, a great win for these guys as they wrap up another one. But a little bit of a sour note, though. Everyone has to head home, get on those computers, and get those taxes out before midnight. 6-3 to three, the final score today. New York took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Jay Happ notches his third win of the year. Mike Miner was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Tommy Kingley closes the door for the save, his eighth of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show.